Hi everyone, it's Beverly here. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. So as you know, spring is finally here and that's the time for pruning back our plants, both indoors and outdoor. As for me, I have this coleus, as you can see, and I overwintered this coleus. What I did in overwintering my coleus, I went the easy way, and that was to take it in as a house plant. So all I did was to treat my soil with a little peroxide and water, and I spray the soil to make sure to get rid of any little creepy crawlies that may be crawling around. And I brought it inside and I enjoyed it as a house plant. So this is what I end up with. Um, this is a coleus also that I really like. Um, it gives me bright, rich red color from summer straight into fall. And um, that color blends in nicely with my fall theme. So I wanted to have this coleus going on for whichever many years I can get out of it. So that's one of my reasons for overwintering this coleus. Also, it will save me money from having to buy another coleus. So now that spring is here and things are ready to take off, get back to life, I'm gonna prune back this coleus um, so it can become fuller and it can regain its true color. For example, while I had it in the basement, he had lost um, all the redness. I um, brought it up just uh, a week or so from the basement and I noticed it starting to get back the color. So it was actually like this color in the basement. All the colors were gone. So I'm going to now cut it back and give it time to redevelop and regain its color and lustre for the summer months coming up. And I said this coleus will go straight into fall. Yeah, just before first frost, before it will die back. All right, so I will show that to you and you can follow along as I prune this coleus. So for these long stem, I'm gonna cut them all the way back and I'm gonna try to cut them just above a node and do them slant. So that's it there. And Another one here. Yes, and as you may notice, I cut it all the way down and I'm going to go and give this a good clean up. So this is a pot inside of a pot, so let me see if I can get this one out. Mm -hmm. I'll just take this out. I know I could take it out and I could actually change the soil, but this soil, I um, use this soil only for one year. So I think this soil is pretty good. So I'll just top it up with a little fresh soil and I will give it a good fertilizer and that should be good enough to get it going. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.